We now need to create a combined surface for July. As we did previously, we'll fence the data out. However, the fencing used previously was only working on points, and so there was no strings that had to be cut. If we're using strings and they're trimmed against another string, then you get a crossing break line. So to prevent this, we're going to create an offset string of about 10 millimeters and this string will be used as the cutting edge and it, but it won't be included in the triangulation and this will ensure that we get no crossing break lines. So in plan view number one we'll just turn off all of the models except for the boundary string. In our CAD control bar we'll just create a temporary model and give it a color of say red and we're going to use the string parallel option from the toolbar up here to parallel this string. So we just pick with direction and accept it. Our offset, because I've gone down the page, will be minus 0 0.01. Enter and my height will remain the same. So if I just zoom in on that now, you can see that we have two strings and their distance is 10 millimeters apart. We can now turn off our 2009 topo boundary and turn on all of our 20906 models. So now we will once again be creating a new model with all of the data outside of this string. We use the option utilities, fence, fence the data we're going to fence will be all of the models on view number one. The polygon for the fence is the polygon we just created in the temporary model. And we want to make sure that we've got exclude model containing fence turned on. The model for our fence outside will be 200907 space extra. We can now click on fence and finish on that. We'll then turn off all of this data and turn on our 20907 models. If you were now to zoom in nice and close in this area you would see that the boundary string is about one centimeter from the 07 boundary string on both sides and this will ensure that we have no crossing break lines when we create our triangulation. We can now triangulate this data. Our function name will be TIN 200907 combined. The new TIN name will be 200907 combined. And the color will be gray. If we go to the data, we're going to use everything on view number one. And once again, our nulling will just set to 10 and click on triangulate. We can then turn that model on, check that the contours look all okay and they do and then toggle over to our triangles make sure they all look okay as well. We can now colour in the polygon within the 200907 data to show what has been done this month. So we go to tins, color, color within a polygon. The tin will be 200907. This time we're not going to use the color, the polygon color, as we want to change it to a red color. And we want to color on the except of the polygon, and we select the polygon, which was our boundary string. If we now go to our perspective view, we can turn off all of the data and turn on the model. TIN 2009 combined.